Hi everybody and welcome back to Sit and Knit for a Bit with Arne and Carlos. And we're as always your hosts Arne and Carlos. And it's happened. We knew that sooner or later we weren't going to be able to record a classic 15 minute long Sit and Knit for a Bit because we are stuck on Hütterutten for 12 days and Wi-Fi is not powerful enough so that we can send it to Eric. But no. we've come up with an idea. Yeah, we're going to film a postcard every day from where we stop and yeah. keep you updated on what we're doing. Yeah, so every other day Arne is going to be presenting the place where, where we are at and every other day I'm going to be presenting the place uh, where we are at, which means we're going to be taking turns and uh, holding the phone. <laughs> How's your arm doing, Arne? Is falling asleep. Yeah, it's so because of Arne's uh, <laughs> arm that is falling asleep, let's just, without further ado, start uh, our little postcards. We hope you enjoy these and uh, stay tuned. I think it's going to be lovely. Fingers crossed. It's 8.30, 8.40 in the evening and we've got gorgeous light. It looks like we're going to have a beautiful day tomorrow as well. Yeah, I just saw a double rainbow. A double rainbow and we've told all, all our guests that double rainbows is something that they'll see a lot of here for some reason. <laughs> Probably because it rains a lot. Yeah, maybe. And but now we're going to go back to the lounge and we're going to knit on the mystery project. Absolutely. And uh, But before we do, uh, what you're seeing here is uh, the way out of Bergen. We're in one of the fjords. And we are now leaving Bergen. And I think that we're just going to put the camera and, um, so that you can enjoy the sight. And, and Bergen is over there. Yeah, Bergen is that away. And look at that gorgeous light. And we will see you again tomorrow when we arrive in the city called Olmesen. And uh, that is going to be exciting. And by the way, we love our group. They are so lovely. And I think this is going to be a fabulous cruise. Are you going to do some drift tomorrow? Tomorrow. So uh, enjoy these images and uh, see you tomorrow. Good night. Sleep tight. Sleep tight. And Don't see you again soon. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Bye. Bye. Too, and uh, we actually got off the boat. We are very sorry for the wind yesterday. We hope you heard what we said. If you didn't hear what we said, we were talking about the first day and how windy it was. So <laughs> there you have it. And uh, But we do hope you enjoyed the beautiful views yesterday from uh, our departure in Bergen. Today we are in Oilsund. Oilsund is a beautiful city, uh, Art Nouveau style. And uh, the reason why it's so beautiful, it's all in Art Nouveau, is because the original city burnt down uh, at the turn of the century from the in 19th to 20th century so uh, yeah and Arne how many stairs did we climb? 400 and something like 40 if you count the last steps. Yeah so 400 and something like 40 <laughs> stairs that's what we climbed so we are a little bit uh, yeah out of, out, out of breath so anyway behind me you've got a beautiful city uh, of Odessa that you can enjoy and if you look if you follow my hand do you see my hand? Yeah. If you follow my hand and if you look where I'm pointing right now you will see our boat, the Hutiruten, the MS uh, Trollfjord. And as you can see, it's a small boat, so it kind of blends in. It's not one of those massive cruise ships. I did the zoom. You did a zoom. Oh, Quick fantastic. Zoom. There's the and we have uh, beautiful mountains uh, here. Um, uh, we're not very far away from a place called the Troll Ladder or the, uh, yeah, the Trolls Ladder. And uh, that is a beautiful place uh, to drive in the summer. Uh, you're driving like that and it literally looks like you're driving up a 
a troll stutter. And we've been driving down in our Beetle yeah. a few years ago. We have, yeah. And I'm going to do something uh, that we usually do and sit in it for a bit because Arne has been shopping. Even though today is my day to, to do the blog, um, I am going to show you what Arne got. He went to the thrift store <laughs> and uh, he and got Don't some... let it fall out. Oh yeah, I won't. I, I, don't careful. worry. I'm okay. It's precious. Yeah, I know it's precious. So uh, we found a couple of knitting patterns here. It's number one, um, number two. I, I think that boy is so cool. Yeah. Uh, we got ourselves a lovely French uh, embroidery uh, book. Quite expensive, but it's worth Don't it. Don't look at the price. Don't look at the price, no, but anyway. It's worth every Got lovely embroideries. Um, and we have got ourselves a little... Yeah, these are called Glansbille in Norwegian. These are stickers that you put it's the second book i got from that shop yeah it does they're very cute it's beautiful and a book that's the last thing from the thrift store <laughs> it's this lovely book uh, what is it about we're about to find out oh it's uh florals cave it's cave hello okay hello in case you're watching we have, got your book. have that book in our collection. That's a lovely book from Kay Facet. Yeah. Love it. It's so nice to watch, watch those pictures. Yeah. Our group is uh, away. Uh, they all took the tour on the bus that will take them beyond. As you can see, there's some beautiful landscapes here. And on the other side, there are snow capped mountains. So they are on a lovely bus tour. Uh, while we needed to do a little workout to work out yesterday's dessert and the dessert we had for lunch so 400 and something 40 steps up and now we are gonna go 400 and something steps down um, and I invite you to enjoy this wonderful view for a little bit longer and we will be back tomorrow Arne is gonna be tomorrow's Arne's day so it he is. will do the introduction of what we're doing tomorrow so stay tuned and see you tomorrow this is me signing off enjoy bye go and just film it if you come with me Arne. There you go. It's really really cool. It's a small island and uh, yeah people actually live there. In the old days. Yeah. Okay so Arne what are we gonna be doing today? We are going to taste some local seafood and I think we will continue to knit. Yeah, definitely. 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 Yeah. And uh, tomorrow is going to be like a really special day. Because tomorrow we're going to do what? Tomorrow we will have a guest, Ragnil from Lofoten Wool is coming. And I have some serious shopping to do in Boulder, Carlos. Yes, you do. I don't know if you want to join me. Oh yeah, you want to go to the antiquarian bookstore that you found last time. Yes. And then there was another very special thing that is going to happen tomorrow, the one that I was thinking of. What was that? Well, we're going to cross the Arctic Circle. Oh, we're going to cross the Arctic Circle tomorrow. We are going to That's cross the Arctic Circle tomorrow morning. So that'll be exciting Now you have as well. to take a close look at the okay. lighthouse. So we'll leave you, uh, you with tomorrow. this beautiful lighthouse as your, as your scenery. And uh, see you tomorrow.
Hi everyone, it's day four and we are in what actually is the gorgeous Helgelandskisten here in Norway. Today uh, Helgelandskisten is very shy and it's hiding behind a lot of clouds. It's been rainy but it's been quite calm here at sea. It's now, early morning currently. Early morning right now, yeah. It is around 7.30 in the morning and something very special is going to happen in the next minute or so. I don't know if we're gonna feel it. Do you think we're gonna feel it, Arne? <laughs> I, I think we will change totally. Yeah. So what's gonna happen in a few minutes is that we are gonna cross the Arctic Circle. And uh, we've done it before, but we're always equally excited because you never know what will happen. <laughs> will the toilets flush the opposite way? Will, uh, will the water come out differently from the tap? Who knows, we'll see. You look very excited. Yeah, I'm very excited and I <laughs> wanted to dress with some colors to contrast uh, this. Anyway, there's going to be a ceremony here on deck and we are not going to go to the ceremony. They are going to baptize everybody who crossed the Arctic Circle. That happens a few hours after. Neptune is going to come up in all his glory and maybe some sea trolls. And people are going to get ice shoved down their shirts. Now, if you ever do this cruise, remember, that is the baptism. You're going to get ice down your shirt. I don't want that. That's why I'm wearing a hood for protective measures today, just in case Neptune comes and tries to uh, shove some ice down my sweater. But we get this certificate that we have crossed the polar circle. I think that's enough for us. Yeah, we get a certificate. A certificate. We get I it in the room. We can put it in our book. So tonight, <laughs> Tonight, this is a very special day to us because tonight we are going to arrive in Lofoten and if you've seen our videos before you will know that Lofoten is a place dear, dear to our hearts. What you don't know is that we're actually building a summer house there and uh, hopefully we'll be able to spend more time in our favorite part of Norway uh, in the future. We'll see how it goes. Anyway, <laughs> enjoy the scenery and um, I will tell you when we cross the Arctic Circle and then we'll see Arne if we feel anything, okay? Yes. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you again tomorrow you look different carlos i do yeah i think i've grown a little taller since we you crossed did. bye bye <laughs>
is 50% off. Always. And we tried to film on the bridge over there, but that was so windy and there was a lot of traffic, so we didn't do it. And right now I think that we're probably gonna sit in the bar and knit for a while and tomorrow we are in the North Cape. We've been there before and we it's a beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. You know we, what? We just finished our folk costumes and we read now on the national news that on the 17th of May you can bring your you can bring your bathing suit because it is gonna be like so hot. Okay Arne, I just have a question for what? you. I'm okay, you're under the here. umbrella, but uh, how wet are you? I'm wet. So take the umbrella off. Because you're wet anyway, That's and broken. the view, yeah, exactly. And the view is better. The view is much, much better without that umbrella in the place. So yes, Tromsø is the Paris of the North. They call it. It's a vibrant student city. And behind Arne, I'm gonna zoom it in. Behind Arne, we have the Arctic Cathedral. Hang on. Uh, ooh, oops. <laughs> We've got the Arctic <laughs> Cathedral over here. The and, Arctic uh, Cathedral. And the Arctic Cathedral is lovely. Um, and on our way back, so we're here, it is now almost dinner time, we're getting hungry. But uh, next time we uh, come back, we'll be in a few days, uh, when the boat turns and goes south, uh, we will probably go to the cathedral. The, the ship will arrive here at night, and there will be a beautiful night concert in the church. But we take a taxi. We'll take a taxi because uh, it is quite far away. <laughs> So, so that's it from uh, Arne in, uh, in Paris, of the Paris of the North. So back to the studio. Yes, so thank you so much for watching and we will catch up with you tomorrow from the North Cape. So uh, we leave you with the Arctic Cathedral and the beautiful bridge and the view of Trondheim for you, oh, sorry, Tromsø for you to enjoy. And yes, uh, it's been, uh, it was a long night yesterday because uh, the sun doesn't set. It sets, but it doesn't get dark, sorry. And uh, we were up really late, so uh, I think we may be getting a little tired. I but anyway, enjoy the view and we will see you tomorrow. Now, this is Arne and Carlos and we're logging off. Thank you so much for today. Goodbye. Hi everyone! Today is day six of our adventure here in the north of Norway. We have been sailing for many days now, enjoying the beautiful sights. And today we bring you a little postcard from a very special place. This is Nordkamp. And you may notice some people in our frame, but that's because it is very crowded here now. <laughs> Nordkamp is the most spectacular place and everybody comes to see this particular site that you have over there. You have sky, you have clouds, you have water. And what's up there, Carlos? The what's horizon. in the horizon? Next stop, Svalbard. Next or stop would be Svalbard and the North Pole. Uh, I really don't know why people come here because <laughs> there really is nothing much more to see than a horizon. Um, and you can see one everywhere. But, but there's more in the house yeah. behind us. And knowing that you actually came here uh, Next stop is the North Pole and Svalbard. Maybe that is the appealing thing about this place. However, we are having beautiful weather and we have had great weather today. We also had great weather in 2007 when we came here and we've heard it's very unusual. It's, uh, they can count the number of beautiful days on their hand, they said. Which means so we should start a business, Carlos. We should br bring people to Nordkap because we bring the sun. We bring the sun to Nordkap. Anyway, it is lovely today, um, sunny um, and uh, quite beautiful uh, to know that beyond that is something else. And what's the next on the, on the list, you think? I heard rumors there should be seafood tonight. I don't know if it's true, but someone said seafood. Yeah, we're in for a seafood uh, <laughs> extravaganza and Arne is uh, very exciting. However, Arne is also very nervous because the last time we did this cruise, before the pandemic, 
there was seafood, but there were also a lot of waves. So unfortunately, he had to leave the table. But you brought me food. Of course, I yeah. didn't want you to because starve to death. The waves and the wind came out in from the North Pole mm -hmm. because we are actually going in that direction, I think. Yeah. So the next stop will be Kirkenes or the last stop on the way up will be Kirkenes. Yeah. So and we haven't talked about the globe behind us uh, or behind me. There's a globe and that globe is uh, what uh, I suppose proves that we are on the North Cape and not anywhere else. I overheard a Norwegian guy on the phone. He said to his girlfriend that uh, he was lucky. He was able to come up and stand there for two seconds before all the other buses <laughs> of tourists, us included, uh, came up there. So uh, I guess he was luckier than us uh, because he got good weather and he was able to stand there for two seconds all by himself. Anyway, we are continuing to enjoy this uh, adventure. Tomorrow we are going to be in Shirkenes. Shirkenes is uh, the point where we turn and go back south and it will be the last day of our podcast. So we look forward to seeing you again tomorrow. Now this is Carlos <laughs> and I'm signing off and back to you Arne. Thank you Carlos and thank you for the report from Nordkamp. And we'll see you tomorrow. And let's enjoy this beautiful day. And the fishing boat. Hi everybody, this is day seven of our trip up north. And we have been passing by North Cup, which is the further north, northest. Yeah, we did that yesterday. Yesterday, and now we have gone south east again to Kirkenes. And this is the last stop on the way up. We are now heading north again and then south to Bergen. So we have still a few days to go. And um, five more nights to five go. Five more nights. And six more days and for six. and for knitting. Yeah. And some of the our knitters have finished half of their project and I think maybe some of them will feel it finish all of it when we're back in Bergen. Mm -hmm. I think we will probably have finished our, I don't know yet, because we knit on so many different things. And last night we had the seafood I, I heard rumors about. Oh yeah, so we did. I had two plates with a pile of seafood. And what did you have? Tell me. I had crabs, I had lobster. Or was it lobster? No, no lobster. I had crabs, shrimps, um, mussels, um, sashimi. Sashimi. I don't know the name of all of them, but I ate them. Yeah, they you were did. Gone before they, be, they went down really quick. But they also had that rain beef. Fin beef. Uh, fi, it's called fin beef. It's like reindeer in it, a very creamy sauce, which yeah. is so good. It's very but, delicious. A reindeer stew, and you eat it with lingonberry, yeah. just as you do when you go to IKEA and have meatballs. Yeah. But I had too much of the seafood, so yeah. I didn't have space for the fin beef. No. And then after dinner, the, there was a little bit rocky. The sea was a little bit rocky and the, the waves came in on the side of the boat. And that is the worst ones because then you get this like this mm -hmm. when, you, when you sit in the chair and suddenly it's like... Yeah. Okay. And so you took an early night, you went to bed. I took an early night, I went to bed, I watched a preview of some of the songs for Eurovision Song Contest and it was nice to have a early evening. Yeah. Sometimes it's no choice. Yeah. Because I am a lump crab. Yes you, you are. Know. And today we've been out and we had a guided tour with a quite funny guide. She told us some really good jokes, so we were laughing a lot. Well, her jokes were, she told them in two languages yeah. and they were actually funnier in Norwegian. Yeah, I think some, some things can't be translated. No, they get lost in translation. Yeah, so, but it, it's been a nice trip so far and yeah. we're ready for going north and south again. Yeah, so what are we going to do now? Have lunch. And after lunch the boat will leave Shirkenes and uh, it will uh, continue the journey first northbound to the North Cape and then from the North Cape and on southbound. Yeah. 
Thank you very much for your uh, report, Arne. Uh, we will be welcome. back in, uh, well, it's going to be very quick because of ma the magic of uh, videos and television. Yeah. We're going to be very quick to uh, bid you farewell. The trip will continue uh, for another five uh, days, or six days and five nights. But we will say uh, goodbye to you in a minute once the boat starts uh, the journey towards the south. And north first. Yeah. And then south. See you. See you in a bit. Enjoy these uh, lovely views. And we'll come back to say bye-bye to all of you. So here we are. The boat has just recently departed and we are now actually heading north, but soon we will be heading south. Back to hopefully summer or spring. Yeah, I, I think in, for Norway, May, spring. Spring. Yes, yeah. we are looking forward to celebrating uh, Sutna Mai, May 17, uh, next week. Uh, but uh, yeah, we hope you have enjoyed uh, this little vlog that we have done uh, with little snippets every day. Yeah. And now, before we say goodbye, all we need to do is put some formalities in place, Arne. And that is, if you like our videos, put your thumbs up. And if you're a subscriber, put on the notifications, because then you won't miss an episode. And put yourself on the mailing list, because then you will know when the next trip is happening and more. Yeah, absolutely. So, we are going to go back inside. We're going to grab our knitting. We are going to be knitting for another five days, and we're going to enjoy this uh, trip. And we will see you again next week for our Sutnamai special podcast on May 18th. So thank you so much for watching. See, see you. you soon. Bye. Bye.